From murder hornets to rats, new at 10, Phoenix is on the list of rattiest cities, rattiest cities rather, in the country. Now you may be thinking, rats in the desert? Seriously? Team 12's William Pitts shows us why Phoenix is on that list and what you can do to keep the rodents from invading your home. William? We're not as bad as New York or LA, but we do have our rat problems. And thanks to COVID, we're starting to notice. I started hearing them throughout the house. Chewed a hole right in the sewer pipe. If they want in, they'll get in. And there was a rat this big. It was so big that the entire trap couldn't catch it. Rats. Phoenix is 32nd on Orkin Pest Control's list of the rattiest cities. Yeah, Phoenix. Who knew we'd even make the list? I had no idea there were that many here. Rats do a great job of disguising themselves. Augie Hooker with Truly Nolan says rats were always here. We just didn't see them until we stopped leaving our houses. They thought they had maybe one or two. Um, they found more than a few of those in their home. And so being home, if anything, has made us more aware of a problem in some cases. And that's why calls are up during the pandemic. The rats are moving in. You're noticing them, and one of you has to go. And not just roof rats either, though. You'd think that's what we have. Now, we have pack rats, regular rats, all kinds of rats. And if you see them, well, you shouldn't see them. When you start seeing rats show up in large numbers running across your living room floor um, during the daylight in your garage, then your infestation is actually a lot larger than you might realize. Augie says the best way to get rid of them is to make sure they can't set up shop. That means closing up any holes in your house, making sure your vents are covered with something to keep them out. You're talking rat, about the diameter of a quarter. It's enough room. The roof rats also seem to like fruit, so keep your trees and yards clean. And if you do see these little eyes staring back at you, call a professional to get rid of them. William Pitts, 12 News.